Hi friends, I'm Lady Lecter. It's time, as always, to get a cup of tea or in fact your beverage of choice. Perhaps even some snacks. You know those snackadoos make sense. Mm -hmm. This week we're going to talk about Covent and Company and Beatles Bones and Butterflies at the Red Brick Market in Digbeth. <laughs> started perhaps you might even think about giving me a like for this video um, drop me a comment with anything that comes up in the video that you want to chat about um, and maybe you'll consider subscribing I like to do videos about independent businesses a bit of witchy stuff maybe a bit of magical things I also like to talk about music outfits of the day stuff like that so there's some there's quite a lot of varying things that I like to talk about on this channel I don't just talk about one kind of thing and if you like stuff like that or if you just want to hang out with me and drink tea perhaps you'll consider giving me a subscribe so I got some notes because I got a lot to say and I want to try you know what I'm like I try to do to not go off on a tangent and like you know doesn't always work but I give it a go and notes just help me to try and stay off my tangents <laughs> So, we're going to talk about Red Brick Market in Digbeth. It's a really, really cool place. It's right in the heart of Digbeth, which is about a 15-minute walk from New Street Station. And uh, there's lots of really cool artists selling really cool prints and original pieces. Um, there's also lots of like homeware stuff in there. There's also tons of vintage stuff. It's really cool. It's one of those places where you could just go and have a big mooch. Do you know what I mean? And it's quite big as well. It's like really big. It's in like an old factory type of building. Um, like Digbeth in Birmingham, like there was loads of sort of factories and things in that area back in the olden days. I mean, not even that old, do you know what I mean? But like, you know, the olden days. <laughs> so it's in this really cool looking building. From the outside, it looks really interesting. I'm like, hmm. And it's very, very big inside and very spacious. And there's lots of like uh, little sort of... Um, it's not set up like a market where there's like stalls and stuff like that, like a bench and there's a person that's selling things. Basically, what you do is you walk around the market to these little cubbies and little sections that are all belong to different indie artists or independent sellers. Um, and you walk around and you pick up the things that you want and you take them to the front desk when you've finished your journey around the whole market. And the people at the front desk take your money. It's really, it's a really interesting setup. I really like it. And it's just really chilled as well. So you can just take your time. You can walk around and go back to the places where you thought, oh, I'll come back to that in a minute. And it's just really nice. And there's so many really cool, like indie um, brands and like, you know, uh, small businesses there. It's amazing. Like you can discover so many things. So today we're going to talk about two of the um, businesses that run from there and they are Coven and Company and uh, Beatles, Bones and Butterflies. I first discovered Beatles, Bones and Butterflies about three years ago and she was at a sort of artist's market that was set up at Erie Inc, which is a tattoo studio and they had like an afternoon where they had like all indie artists and stuff selling their wares and literally fell in love. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, I um, I discovered them there a couple of years ago and Covenant Company, I discovered uh, when I went to Red Brick for the first time, which was a couple of months ago now, um, maybe three or four months ago. I don't think they'd been open that long when I first went. And uh, I discovered this little jewellery nook and I was like, oh, look at all the beautiful things. <laughs> 
So the things I'm going to show you today, I've been collecting over a period of months. I didn't get them all in one go. Um, but like, I just wanted to talk to you about them because Beatles, Bones and Butterflies and Coven and Company have come together in a collaboration to make a really amazing witchy nook. It's like a one-stop shop for all your witchy needs. It's got homewares, it's got artistic pieces it's got uh jewelry it's got and it's like your one-stop shop for all your witchy requirements <laughs> so i thought i'd do this just to show you what i've got so first we're going to look at a coven and co okay and this is a, is a shop that is a run and by jordan lovely lovely guy um totally amazing pieces i've got a few pieces to show you so i'm going to insert clips to show you what i'm talking about okay so let's have a look what we've got first first we've got the moon and quartz earrings you know how much i love the moon and um, the moon is a massive part of my um particular craft it's um a really big part of my 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 spiritual journey um so and then we've got the clear quartz on it clear quartz radiates energy it's for it's great for clarification and purification so i'm like yeah droop me in that i need it of course whenever i buy jewelry i always charge it with a particular thing that i want that jewelry to achieve i give it a good cleanse and then i charge it uh, and it just feels so nice to wear it feels so nice to wear. I feel like literally when I first bought it, um, because this was the first piece that I bought from Coven and Co. Um, so literally when I first bought it, I didn't. I don't think I took them off for like three weeks until I bought my next pair. <laughs> and then it was just like, oh. <laughs> so the next pair that I bought was the Serpent and Moon. I bought these from their website because both Beatles Bones and Butterflies and Coven and Co, they both sell at Red Brick Market, but they both also have websites available so you can shop online as well. Um, and it's just really great to have that sort of mixture option. Do you know what I mean? You know, when you're like sitting there on a Friday night, like, I feel like I need to treat myself. And you just go, oh yeah, internet, do tell me the things I need to treat myself with. <laughs> Um, so the second pair that I bought was Serpent and Moon earrings um, and I just really love them so much. The sh I'm really, really very much about snakes at the moment. Uh, it's actually going to be an up and coming tattoo of mine. Um, snakes are perfect because they represent transformation and new beginnings and who don't love a bit of that do you know what I mean? So brilliant, absolutely love these earrings. They're so like when I wear any of the earrings that I've brought from Coven & Co, people are always like, oh, I love your earrings. Where did you get them from? Oh, they're really nice. Where did you get them from? Because they're just so unusual. They're not like, obviously, because they're not mass produced and everywhere, people like notice them more, um, maybe. <laughs> but like, I'm always getting like compliments when I wear their jewellery, which is really nice. The um, the next earrings that I got from them were the serpent and the sword, which I just I, I just couldn't I went I got these when I, uh, on a visit to Red Brick Market, and I just could not help myself. I was just like, yeah, I got literally got to have them. Take my money. <laughs> um, but I like how these are on, on a hoop because I'm kind of a little bit about that hoop life at the moment. So I like the fact that they're on a hoop, um, and I just really like the way they they lie sort of like this they they just got a really striking image on me when i've got them on i feel like yeah i can do anything today that's how i feel <laughs> um the last thing from coven and co i've got to show you is a lavender necklace this piece i loved as soon as i saw it there's others they sell other um things i think there was one with uh rose petals in if i remember rightly um but the lavender lavender's literally my vibe do you know what i mean it's like that's my ride or die herb like lavender for life <laughs> lavender is great for bringing you peace clarification sharpening the mind uplifting your mood it's brilliant it's like a brilliant if you're feeling a little bit lavender's just 
Lavender's your, your, your homie, do you know what I mean? He's just like, yeah, I'll look after you, I'll sort you out. So as you can see with this, it's on ribbon. Now, when I bought it, it was on a chain. I just changed it to the ribbon just because I thought aesthetically it seemed a little bit more my style and I just I wanted a longer pendant. So I popped it on to the uh, ribbon just for aesthetical purposes. Like I say, it does come with a chain when you buy it in red brick. Um, and I've got lots of others like, you know, types like... Um, things in the in the lockets when you go to red brick but I just really like the lavender I really liked it <laughs> so yeah I always feel good when I wear this um it just feels really nice it just feels like ah oh, like a hug oh I love it <laughs> so next we're going to go on to a few items that I've had over the a few months ish from um from beetles, bones and butterflies. Beetles, bones and butterflies. So you, this is what I mean about the one-stop shop. So you've got the jewellery, the beautiful jewellery and that sort of the aesthetic things from uh, Coven & Co. And then you've got beetles, bones and butterflies that does all this amazing homewares and stuff. She, I got some uh, coasters that are like tarot coasters from her and they are really nice and you can buy them individually so you can choose which ones you like which I quite like because sometimes when you're buying a set of coasters there's always like the one that you don't really like but I quite like these so I bought them individually I'm going to get another couple as well it's just that I picked these up on a whim um and so i'm going to pick up another couple at some point but i really really like them she's just some really nice like trinket trays for your jewelry and like things like that just and uh, some cups some stuff like that Th these sorts of things they're just really nice homeware type stuff but she's also a great artist is carrie she's like an amazing artist she's like a total mood all on her own <laughs> so as far as as far as artwork i've got <clears throat> i do apologize um so yeah as far as artwork i've got i've got a mushroom plaque from her and i just saw it and i fell in love because i was just like that's a really nice little piece because i like lots of stuff on my walls as you can see behind me um and so you, i don't like everything to be all uniform and the same so i've got like you know little random bits and pieces so i i just fell in love with it and i was just like i just really want that so i picked it up and i also picked up a serpent and moon plaque as we were just discussing i'm really all about that serpent and moon symbology it's like symbology is that a word symbology symbolism thank you <laughs> As, as if uh, so yeah i'm really all about that snake and uh, moon symbolism so i really i just fell in love with it i was just like because i keep having these mad dreams about snakes i talked about it on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram i highly recommend it i am at i am lady lecter um and I was just like, oh, I keep dreaming about snakes and then and then and then and blah, blah, blah. But it's not like I'm scared of snakes. I mean, I'm not. I mean, if I saw like a viper in the middle of flipping the countryside or something, I think I'd probably be pretty scared. But generally, I'm not scared of like snakes. So, and the dreams that I was having was not scary dreams. I wasn't being like attacked or <laughs> by snakes or anything like that. It wasn't like that. So just kind of, yeah, I need this. So I got it and I put it on my wall and it makes me happy every time I look at it. It just makes me feel smiley and I think about Carrie when I look at it and I'm just like, ah, oh, she's so awesome. <laughs> and the final piece that I have from Beetles, Bones and Butterflies is a bell jar with a beetle in it. Well, it's actually got two in it. It's one of those that you can have either way or on the side. So you've got a bit of both, whichever you fancy. Um, my husband is really kind of obsessed with the uh, visual of a bell jar, anything in a bell jar when he wants it, but I'm very much like, it can be just like a random thing in a bell jar, but, and you can get those like from Wayfair and stuff like that, like a thing in a bell jar, like you could get like a beetle in a bell jar, but it's just a beetle on a stick in a bell jar, it's not very exciting looking, and that's not really my aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, nah, 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 nah. Do you know what I mean? Because um, bell jars are pretty cool because they give me that sort of like, 
old times vibe, you know, and that's kind of my thing. I mean, this is my this my aesthetic. <laughs> so we got this one and it's on our mantelpiece and I just love it. It's so cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to get some more as well because, um, you know, you can't have one bell jar. One bell jar is just not enough, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> What I really like about the um, the red brick market, like I say, is that you can just mooch around and you can go about and you can have a look at all the different stalls. They've got this great atmosphere. Everybody that works there is so friendly. Like, you know, it's just really chill, laid back atmosphere. And there's so many great independent businesses there um, and like, you know, selling their wares and stuff. It's really fun. And I like the fact that you can just pick things up and take them off the shelf. And then you've got like, you know, all the things that you want to buy and you just take it to the front counter and pay. And it's just like so easy it's just amazingly amazing and it's like i say right in the heart of digbeth um and digbeth is such a nice place to hang out because they've got loads of like independent breweries there and stuff and you've got the custard factory that's just behind or in front whichever way you come of the uh, red brick market it's just a really nice place to hang out and um, so yeah i definitely recommend it so yes, that is my uh, review of the uh, Coven and Co and Beatles Bones and Butterflies, who are now collaborated into one amazing witchy space living. Oh, literally living. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they come up with in the future. It's going to be so much fun. So that's me for this week, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video um, and I shall see you very soon. Bye.